Hey everyone, it's Sky Schooly here at StaffWriterBusiness.com. Today I'll be walking you through how to set up a behavior rule in TearMind. This allows you to build guidelines for what type of behaviors your employees can and cannot do on their devices. Let's dive right in. All right, so this is the main dashboard for TearMind. If we are setting a behavior rule, you'll go over here to behavior on the left and go under policies. And you have the option to use some of their own sample policies, or if you scroll down, you can add your own rule for this policy. So here's when you will get to name this rule. For this example, we will say Benson Project Email Data Leakage. You can create a description if you want, and you can use one of their templates, or here we're starting with a clean slate. And here you can select the type of rule. You have the option between agent schedule, content sharing, and activity. For this example, we'll just say it's a simple activity and we will say it applies to emails. Down here, you have the option to select when this rule is active. So this is if you only want it to apply during certain hours of the day. Next, you'll be able to select who it applies to. So you can deselect this and type in who you want to specifically apply to or exclude, or you can just have it automatically inherit your standard policy settings. Here's where you'll be able to really customize the rule. So you can add a ton of different conditions to it. So here we'll say when the mail direction is outgoing, when the mail is going to, we'll say anybody except for people from my company. So when it's going outside the company. And we'll add a third condition saying what the mail body contains. So this would be if your email body contains specific content, like maybe a shared list or some proprietary content data copied from SharePoint. So for this example, we will say when it includes the Benson project. Next, you'll be able to select how the system reacts to a violation. So you can have it record before and after the violation occurs. So we'll, we'll say 10 minutes before, 10 minutes after. Now you might be wondering how it knows to record before the violation. Well, when the user logs in, the agent knows that there may be a situation where there may be some rule where it needs X number of minutes before. So it keeps a circular buffer on the endpoint, which continuously gets deleted unless that video is required for a forensic investigation like this. So you can say who it notifies. So maybe you want it to automatically notify the employee's direct supervisor. You can have it block them. You can include customized language that you want the employee to see. You can lock them out, warn them, and so on. Now you also have the option to set some parameters around allowances and escalations over here in advanced mode. So maybe if they do the action once, that's okay. The second time they get a warning and the third time they're blocked. Over here on the right, you'll have seen all of the policy information populate. So you just wanna double check it, make sure it includes everything you want, and then you save and launch the rule. So that's how you set up a behavior rule with TearMind. As you can tell, it allows for several customizations, which is great for security. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And for more business-related content, subscribe to our channel.